I had two jobs, actually. One, I was in corporate finance, and then two, while I was in corporate finance, I was actually selling real estate on the side. At one point, I decided to quit my corporate finance job just because I felt like, really, it was just putting numbers in a spreadsheet. I remember having a conversation with a lady in my office. She was like in her 50s, and I said, Leanne, how have you done it all these years? And she said, Rich, you know, it's been really hard. She painted this picture where she was like making spaghetti for her children at like seven o'clock at night and get a call from one of her clients, and all of a sudden she's like, hey, guys, I have to leave. And that always kind of stuck with me. I knew in the future that I wanted family, I want to have a big family, I wanted to be there for my family. So my parents were immigrants. They moved over here from Korea. When I was in high school, my, my mom, my dad, and my brother, they went up on a whitewater rafting trip in Wisconsin. And I wasn't there, I didn't want to go because I was busy hanging out with my friends. And you know, they came back from it and it was just dad and my brother and my mom had accidentally drowned in an accident. That experience was really formative for me because fast forward 10 years later, when I was thinking about coming into this career, I said, wow, it's not only an opportunity to make an income and do something that I have aptitude towards, but it was an opportunity to work with individuals and families and look them in the eye and get them from a place of financial instability and insecurity to a place of financial security and a peace of mind. And that's something that we didn't have growing up. You know, two immigrant parents, you know, they, they, they struggle just to make it work. When you lose one parent, it's not just, you know, the mom that you had before. It's also, quite frankly, just some of the financial security that comes with that. The opportunity to work with people and help them in ways that we didn't have help. It was not just appealing, it was like a calling. It was something that I felt like, wow, I could wake up every day and whether I love doing this or not, that I would have meaning and purpose in it. And I think at the end of the day, people aren't just looking to be happy in their jobs or make a lot of money. When you have a certain baseline level of that, you're fine. I think after that, people are looking for meaning in life. When I look back 30 years from now in my life, what do I wanna say like I actually invested my time in? I've always felt like I've been doing meaningful work. This is the business for me.